Gamer Geek Nice sitting here coming to you with another video review. And today we're reviewing the Star Wars 6 inch black series Yavin Ceremony Luke Skywalker. Which I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, this is a figure I've been looking forward to for a while. And if you saw my last review of Janet, uh, this was part of my Black Friday shopping deal last night where I was able to get a buy one, get one half off deal. And plus, these were on sale for about 15 bucks. So I was able to get a really good deal on this Luke Skywalker figure. Anyways, for the figures, look at the packaging first. Anyways, first up, awesome artwork there of Luke Skywalker. Star Wars The Black Series. And they spelled his name wrong. It says Skywalk War, which is dumb. I was like, how exactly do you screw that up? What the heck? Yavin Ceremony, which I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Name on the side there. He is number 100. And the back... We got his bio, which again, Swalker or something like that. However, they did actually get it right here in the bio, if you can see that. So you can pause right there if you want to read if you want. There we go. That's about it for the packaging. So let's open them up and see if the force is strong with this one. We'll be right back. All right, so here we have Luke Skywalker. Open up now the packaging. Now this figure is phenomenal. Fantastic. I've actually been looking forward to this version of Luke for a while. Even though it's kind of a small scene, it is actually a memorable scene too, so I was hoping we were gonna get a Luke Skywalker in this outfit at some point. And um, thank god we finally did. And again, this is uh, kind of the more easier figures to get from the wave. I mean, I think it's two per case, so you should be able to have, uh, be able to find this one. However, this figure was a little hard for me to find, so luckily, as I mentioned in my Janet review, I was in the aisle when the employee was restocking the shelf so I was able to get it I was able to get this figure like the second he put it on the shelf so I think he put two of these and I think two of Janna and I think one of each on the shelf anyways likeness is pretty good it actually looks better in person um you know in the promotional pictures it didn't look right uh, something just seemed off about the head sculpt but trust me in person it looks a lot better it's a very good likeness of Mark Hamill from episode four New Hope now the outfit's really nice. I love the texture on the uh, on the sleeves here. Very nice. Standard pants with the stripe going down down the side. The black boots. Awesome. They look a little. They look like leather. Yeah, they're a little rough. They look a little leather. Very shiny too. As you see, they didn't color in the joint there, which is stupid. But you don't really notice it that that much unless you look on the inside of his leg. So you don't really notice it. And the jacket is kind of a separate piece, a standard torn shirt underneath. Kind of a little foreshadowing of uh, Return of the Jedi, I guess. Uh, his, his accessories, he comes with two accessories. Of course, he comes with the metal, which has a very nice sculpting here. I don't know if it's just me, but when I was a kid, I thought this looked like the Millennium Falcon. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I guess in a way, it kind of still does. I don't know. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, I always thought that looked like the Millennium Falcon. And these nice detail. And since this is a separate piece, hopefully we'll get a Han Solo from that ceremony scene at some point. I don't know, we'll see. And he also comes with, I think this is Leia's blaster she used on the Death Star, you know, before she was captured. I can take it out. Yeah, pretty nice sculpting and detail on that. Yeah, I can't really tell if this is uh, Leia's uh, blaster or not. I don't know what... If it is, I don't know what Luke's, Luke is doing with it. But I wasn't really paying attention during that scene. However, it does fit in the holster very nice, though. It is a little tight... A little tight fit. And then you can just take the strap here and peg it in place. Which, it's a little harder to do when you actually put the blaster in there. Maybe it's not pushed down far enough. It is. But I'm not gonna mess with it. If I can get it in there properly. No, I'm not gonna mess with it. I was able to get it fine before, before I started filming, but I'm not gonna mess with it now. Anyways, articulation is pretty much what you would normally expect. Uh, head can rotate 360. Can look down a little bit. I uh, can't really look up. Arm sway rotate 360, they can go in and out, bend at the elbow, turn the elbow, rotate the wrist, and also has the hinge here on the side. 
which I can go in and out. Of course, mine's tight. Same on this one, but also because he comes with the blaster, he has the trigger finger mold, so this one actually moves up and down. It does have the upper torso joint. Legs can go forward, kind of. There we go. Mine are very stiff, so they can go about that far and back to the rosa position. Go in and out, rotate the thigh, double jointed knee. So, yep, definitely kicks his own butt. Hinge of the ankle. Definitely go further, you know, go forward quite a bit. And the ankle pivot, which I absolutely love. And also, be careful with this leg, because the, the holster here, it's actually it's actually attached to his leg, so it does hinder the articulation a little bit. That, and also the jacket here. The metal back on. So overall, this is a fantastic figure. So I would, uh, so I would definitely say, if you are a fan of that scene, if you like the appearance of Luke during this scene, I would definitely recommend, recommend picking up this figure if you can. And hopefully we get a Han Solo from, from that scene at some point, and maybe Princess Leia. However, I think we got a Princess Leia figure from that scene at one point. I might have seen a picture of it somewhere. But, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I don't think we got a black series of her from that scene. But if not, hopefully we do, because I would actually like to recreate that scene. Uh, Chewie, you don't really need to do anything unless you chose to re-release the uh, 40th anniversary of black series of him. Because he doesn't really change his appearance during that scene. So you don't really need that. Hey, so you just need the, the core three, Luke, Han, and Leia. That was overall a fantastic figure. So if you can find this figure, definitely pick him up. I'll give this figure a... I'll give it 9.5 out of 10. My only real complaint is the articulation issues, kind of. And the very tight joints. And a little tight grip on the holster here of the gun. But other than that, great figure. So pick it up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are down below. Be sure to check those out. And you can message me anytime you want. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye. May the Force be with you.